at her wits end. An amputee says her patience is being tested. The elevator at her complex has been broken since before Christmas. And rolling blackouts, remember those from severe weather? They may have played a part. After exhausting all measures, she called News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen looking for help. Ooh. You know what, I try to occupy my mind. Nadine Robinson can't leave her home. I'm trapped up here. Plain and simple, no way, no way to look at it but trapped. As an amputee, she can't get down the stairs. And I looked at the stairs. I said, okay, I'm gonna try to do this, go downstairs with this walk. I failed. And the elevator at her building at Bellwood Park Apartments has been broken since before Christmas. My patient ran out with this situation, it has. Following the winter storm, there have been appliance failures across the mid-state following rolling blackouts. Everything was freezing up. Once it started unthawing, pipes were busting. And then with the lights going out back and forth. This beeping noise residents can hear from the elevator area. And when they come to try to use it, you can see it's not working. And I can hear that beeping. It beeps loud. And they won't turn that damn thing off. Nadine was told the parts were ordered. And it's causing a hardship for me. She says the Lord is testing her. I got the three powerhouses with me. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what keeps me going. She hasn't been able to get downstairs to go to church. It's heartbreaking for me because that's what keeps my faith intact. After getting nowhere by making calls, she dialed the news. I feel like this. If you don't complain about it, say something about it. She hopes by speaking up, something will be done to help. Ooh, it's so aggravating. It's aggravated. It's so aggravated. It's unclear when the elevator will be fixed. Reporting in Asheville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. Somebody's got to step up and do something. We called the front office and emailed First Cumberland Properties. We didn't hear back. In addition, since many of the residents are on Section 8, we have reached out to HUD to see if anything can be done to speed up this process. We're going to keep you posted on this one.